Okay, so uh, as you may have seen on this other video, I did this cool event. So we had all these different coffee drinks. I wanted to just cover like that, this coffee setup you may have seen in like the right corner of the video, um, which is just my super portable, relatively portable and high quality performing setup that I bring around. Um, and all of this can basically fit in two boxes uh, and the suitcase and maybe a backpack. Um, so obviously I still have the Decent. This is the 1.3 Pro and the coffee, you know, the stuff that I pull for people is just the basic Extractimundo dose profile. I'm actually using these Wafo, Wafo, blend four steps for all of the espresso because the two espressos I pulled were like a dark espresso and a medium espresso. I wanted something that was like really rounded and because I'm using extract mido dose, it's really, really nice. One thing to cover though is like this guy here is a 25 gram basket. So I'm pulling 25 to um, about like 70 to 75 grams of espresso. I'm splitting them into three little cups and I'm using that for my milk drinks as well as for my Aerocano that I served. Um, and, and like the nice thing about this is I can kind of just pull espresso and, and let this guy run and do other stuff because I have that scale with auto stop. Um, and you might be wondering, you know, like what grinders I pair with this. Uh, so. I am using this Sculptor 064S for a variety of reasons. The main reason is that this guy is just produces a very approachable espresso, but also look how small this is. Like in the same light as the Decent, right? It's like this thing's 30 pounds. I can stick in a suitcase. I can bring this around with me. This guy, you can throw in your backpack. And this is a fully espresso, espresso capable grinder in such a small form factor. It is insane. Uh, also, thank you, Time More, for sending this to me. Uh, maybe we'll do a review on this. I don't know yet. Um, but it's the stock burrs in here, which are kind of more skewed to 64 HU. Um, and, and that's what I wanted for people. Like, I'm serving normal espressos. I don't need to be serving battery acid, um, especially with some of these more developed coffees. Like, this works fantastic. Uh, I guess, like, mini review here, but slight complaints on just how the beans feed into this corner. Like you definitely need to RDT with this grinder. The, the beans will get kind of stuck up there, especially I'm also putting 25 grams and this little hopper is a little finicky here, but I run this at the lowest RPM and it works fine. This grinder is relatively quiet too. So in some in these environments that I'm trying to serve coffee and I don't need like, you know, the screech of MPs running and, and this works fantastic for espresso. I kind of find the, the uh, little like adjustment a little finicky at times. I don't like that like this comes off. Like I wish these mags, magnets were a little stronger. Um, but yeah, this has been fantastic for just like a mobile espresso grinder. Um, and then I also had pour overs on this menu, so I used this guy, the Easy Presso ZP6. Uh, ZP6 is coming back again, but basically, you know, I could have brought a, a 98 flat or whatever, but I basically wanted a a hand grinder for theatrics because I'm making coffee in front of people. I was like, okay, I want to make this look cool, you know, pull out some of that slow bar vibe. Um, and the ZP6 is really, really easy to use. It's very quiet. And also it gives me the level of flavor separation that I want for some of these coffees. Uh, and it overall, the finish is incredibly sweet. It, it's, it's such a great grinder to serve like light roast coffees with. And uh, this guy just did a fantastic job for like Letty and here. It isn't so, so clear like 64 MPs, for example, that you could get to a point where people just think it's too, too sour, uh, especially these light roast coffees. So I use ZP6 and and the Time More Sculptor. Like these two guys can fit in my backpack. Like that's crazy to, to have like this level of quality in such a compact uh, format. Obviously also using like, I did a V60 for here, Waffo Leaf, Normal Dose Tamper, S-Works Design, WDT. Weber workshops, bean dose, bean tubes, bean sellers. Um, so I just pre weighed everything. Staggy HG Pro Studio Edition, Pearl 2021. Oh, for you pour over nerds, for my V60, I use these guys, these Cafec mediums, because they flow really fast. So I'm able to grind relatively fine, get the extractions I like. Um, milk steaming, WPM still. 
Uh, but yeah, there you go. That's my setup nowadays that I bring around to places. Plus or minus, you know, changing around some of these grinders. Hand grinder and sculptor, ZP6 sculptor works really, really well. So yeah, if you want to like create a relatively compact setup for coffee serving and, you know, even if I had this, if this was my like daily setup, I'd be pretty happy too. So from Crate and Barrel, $3 cups. And then I use these little glitch Cortado glasses from Japan. Love these little glitch glasses. Uh, other stuff like pear cupworks craft. Um, I use the fellow craft for Aerocano stuff. I don't know. I probably will re replace this guy later with like a San Remo U or something that's like actually commercially certified to do stuff. Like steaming on this is a little bit slow at times, but like for some of these more like intimate sessions with people, it's whatever, it's fine. Yeah, so this is an incredibly compact setup. So, you know, decent in the suitcase, grinders, all of these things in here. Uh, I have another box just for glassware. Uh, bean sellers can actually go in here. Um, same thing like that. And then I have a backpack, which has my coffees and other stuff. And I can, you know, just throw it in here. But like, um, yeah, considering like how compact this setup is, not bad. I'm like pretty happy with, uh, with how this turned out.